Here is a new P2105. This is a pump, and it's an open loop pump. You could tell it would be open loop uh, by the, it would have a larger suction, the suction's on the underside, than the outlet. Also two, this here is the max volume stop, the controller. So regardless of whether or not it needs it, all of them have the uh, differential in here, the top one here, have the, the differential spool in there. So even if you just have a standard pressure comp, which would not need this, they still includes it. They have SAEC uh, four bolt mount. And this is where a torque cartridge would go. Sometimes they can put in a, uh, like a, a relief valve type system in here as well. This actually connects in a passageway through to here and then back into the, into the case. You could tell which rotation they are by looking at the arrow on the back. Just don't get confused because the rotation is looking from the front shaft here. So this one's going this way. So this one would be clockwise rotation. You can tell it's open loop because it has this large suction. So you can see that the suction is twice the size of the uh, outlet here, so the pressure. These are both the uh, exact same pumps. It needs to actually like draw the oil out. Well, if it's on a closed loop, it's getting, it's getting pressured, charged into the pump. So it needs, it needs a good inlet characteristics for that. Is the bias spring. It's called the bias because it's biased to being fully on. So these are pushed on with an internal spring so that the swash plate inside is giving full flow. Then the control reduces that flow. This one here has a through drive on the back. So all of the uh, 105s and 145s have a through drive shaft, but they don't all have a uh, through drive back end cover. And what happens is another adapter goes on the back of this. You could put a different uh, uh, adapter, whether you want A, B, C, or D. 